What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's so good to be back. We took a little bit of a leave of, a leave of absence just because we ended up moving halfway across the, well, halfway. It's, if you go by like horizontally, it's not necessarily halfway, but vertically halfway across the country. So I'll tell you what guys, if you can guess where we end up moving to, I'll reveal in the next video. If you can guess where we move to, I'll throw you like a free sticker, a decent anime sticker, something like that. So uh, throw down some guesses below in the comments where you think we end up moving to. I'll give you a hint, we didn't move horizontally, we moved vertically from Michigan down, so pretty much guess in there. And if you know where I moved, don't give it away. Um, so somebody that doesn't know, throw some guesses down there. Whoever whoever guesses it right, I'll throw you like a sticker or something like that. So anyways guys, so we are back officially and it feels so good to be back on the channel. I know it's been a while, we were supposed to be, we kept up, with, we were doing Saturday uploads for every day for like three or three, four or something, I mean we did, we did a lot of uploads, so but we're going to get back to that, the holiday season. Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that stuff kind of got busy, um, but we're gonna get back to it. Uh, I have a lot of updates since we were since we were back. So, uh, starting with the six five over here, uh, we actually ended up getting a new windshield, obviously, because we made it, you know, vertically halfway across the country. So, we had to get a new windshield for that. It looks great. Um, I guess there's only a couple updates with this thing. Uh, oh. Uh, we put in a different uh, head unit, a, a sock one, same one, but it's different because the other one wouldn't work. Not that really you guys could tell that. And then, bada bing, bada boom, tail lights. So, if you can recall, the other ones had that Chevy shield. Oh, kind of like the third brake light up, up there. They had that little Chevy looking shield thing on it, just like that. So, we went ahead and threw some brake lights on there. I was going to do a video on that, but uh, but the, the tail lights are so horrendous, I just couldn't wait. So... Uh, my patience did not help me there, so but it really is it was easy guy they're plug and play so it's it's really not a big deal, but they look really good. My only wish is that they were the C or this little outline this running light outline was facing inwards like parentheses instead of f facing outwards so but anyways guys, this truck is actually doing really good, so for the money you can't really beat it uh, it's been a really fun it made it all the way down here. Well, I guess you can kind of take a hint. Uh, where we're at there is a hay bale in my driveway so there's your hint where, where we're at so anyways guys the main video the video topic today is going to be on the lb7 duramax so we are going to break into another package by boost auto parts and so i'm super excited about it it's going to be really nice it kind of the drawback to the package is that i don't necessarily have a phone compatible with it but essentially after this and a set of tow mirrors we're going to have every single piece of technology that Boost Auto Parts has to offer for these classic style Chevys. So uh, there's not really been any parts updates with the LB7 per se. Mm, yeah, I mean, not that I can think of. So we're, we're pretty much up to date with that ever since HSP stuff happened. I mean, I, I've been I've been just been keeping this truck pretty tame and so, but we're going to probably, after this kind of this, which today is nice, but after this kind of winter weather kind of passes in, in the spring, I know everyone says, oh, in the spring has big plans, but um, there's not necessarily big plans, but I would like to get some like paint corrections fixed. Um, I would like to take off the fender flares and stuff like that. And uh, I, I kind of want to make it a little bit more clean. I want to switch to the uh, the 06, like the LBZ uh, hood and grill conversion. I'll be doing all that paint matching. So <clears throat> cosmetically, this truck's gonna take a big turn in this in the spring. Uh, Performance-wise, not as much. I have my uh, built transmission down at the uh, diesel shop the local diesel performance shop down here in the state that I'm in I almost gave it away so all this stuff things are in the works things are happening with all these with these trucks so this channel should now that we're back home we should be able to get a lot more of uh, footage just of just a lot more things happening between the uh, 6.5 and then the LB7 so I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer <clears throat> let's go ahead and break into this package that we got from boost auto parts and I'm gonna show you guys how to install it so Stay tuned, guys. Um, if you have a classic 03 to 07 and a half Duramax, you're really gonna you're gonna want this super bad with a full console. That that's another thing too. With a, with a full console, don't get it if you have like the flip up. That won't work. So with a full console, 03 to 07 and a half, you guys are gonna want this mod, especially if you have a phone compatible with it. So uh, let's get in the truck and let's uh, let's start the installation of this piece. All right, guys. As you can see, we are opening up the center console because we are installing the Boost Auto Parts wireless phone charger. There's the pad to that. So 
First step, what we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna go through this pretty quick. It's actually not really that hard of an install. Everything comes like already pre-wired, so it's just wiring harnesses, it's just plug and play. So first step, we're gonna go ahead and take off the outer, the outer, uh, get this out of here. We'll take off the outer uh, console tray. So there's just these screws all the way around here. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out. All right, everybody, so now that we have the screws all out of their perspective place, we're gonna go ahead and grab the actual lid to that, and we are gonna wanna drill. Yeah, so I accidentally drilled a hole over there, but that's wrong, don't pay attention to that. So the side that the lid actually comes down, right? So the side with the clip, don't make the same mistake I did. It's not really a big deal because it's all covered anyways, but we're gonna wanna drill a hole right around here in this ballpark somewhere, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that hole pretty much symmetrical but on the other side uh, I actually thought that the I figured that it would hook up right there at the bottom so that's why I did that there but don't make the same mistake I did drill it right around there it's really not a big deal because it's all gonna be covered by the pad everything that everything's gonna be securely on there so it's not a big deal but um, learn from my mistakes so let's go ahead and we're gonna put a hole right around here somewhere so let's do that real quick all right so there's our correct hole right there so then we're just gonna go ahead and run the wire from the pad through the hole, like so. And that should come right there. And bingo, that is much better, right? So it slides in just like that. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do with the nails that Boost Auto Parts provide us, the screws I mean, not nails, these screws where that Boost Auto Parts provide us, we're gonna go ahead and run these right here get you where you can see we're going to run these right here 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 and here in the per perspective spots that they are allotted so let's go ahead and run these in this top cap and then uh and then we'll uh, we'll go to the next step so as you see now the center pad is secured with the screws that they provided there's our plug right there where the wiring harness is going to hook up to right there and there's our hole that we drilled so there's the pad hole that we drilled all right so let's move on to the next step all right so once we get the uh the center console piece all mounted up and everything screwed in we're going to come back to the center console right here or the center of the console the little radio piece right here we're gonna go ahead and get like a trim trim removal tool. I already did it, but get like a trim removal tool or a long screwdriver or something. Pop that out. It's just body panel, it's just body pieces that are holding it together. Gonna just let set that down. And then right there is your that's your cigarette that's your cigarette lighter, your 12 volt, not necessarily cigarette lighter, but it's your 12 volt uh, hookup right there. There's this little plug that's plugged into it. I'm gonna pop that out. Uh, it's just this little gray tab right there on the side. You just got to push that in something You might need to get like I said a like long needle nose that might help uh, depending on how long it's been in there uh, It might be a little bit difficult to pop out, but none, nevertheless get that pop pulled out Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our boost auto parts wiring harness and This is this is pretty nice guys. They hooked everything up pretty much. They did everything for us So there's really not much left to do at all so what we're simply gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pop in this new, this wiring harness into the existing plug for the 12 volt lighter, which is gonna go, oh, it's gonna go right in here. You'll hear a click, right, then that's all in. And then you're gonna go ahead and take this, this runs off that, that what we just plugged in, you're gonna plug this back into the 12 volt out uh, the 12 volt outlet on the back of these full console so we're going to do that right now it's a little bit dark in there but we'll be able to find it hopefully here click again all right so we are officially in on this side so that's really all this for the wiring harness. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to do one more. We're going to drill one more hole up there, and we're going to run this through. But I'm going to show you guys what that looks like in a second. So uh, let's go ahead and move back up to the front seat. All right, we are back in the front seat. So next, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and drill our 3 8 inch hole right above that screw right there. That's where that wiring harness that we hooked up from the backside 
is going to run through and then we're going to go ahead and drill a hole. I, I'm sorry, I take that back. Three holes. We're going to drill a hole right there and then a hole right around there. That's where this wiring harness is going to come up hook, and, and then come through there. So you're going to want some slack. So, But, but before, uh, before anything, we're going to drill a hole right there. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that wasn't messy at all. Not. We are most definitely gonna have to run a vacuum in this truck after we are all said and done here. All right, that's pretty much good for that. So next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and run that plug through that hole. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to pull these this little bottom mount out. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull if you guys can see, we're going to pull this screw, that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw. We're going to pull all those out. All right. So, but first, actually what I want to do before that, we're going to go ahead and drill a hole right. That way we can stop at the drilling. We're going to drill it right around here somewhere. That way that wiring harness or that plug can come straight through this hole, through that one, and then it'll hook up finally to our Boost Auto Parts, our Boost Auto Parts uh, uh, charging pad. So, Right around here, we're gonna give her some beans. Mm, nothing like drilling holes in your truck, that's my favorite. So, that's pretty much all good for there. Uh, we are gonna take a vacuum to this. Obviously, this is pretty messy, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna go ahead, first though, we wanna go ahead and finish the job. We don't wanna vacuum and make more mess and vacuum make another mess. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to then pull these screws out. Like I was saying, you don't actually have to pull this piece all, you don't have to pull this piece all the way out, all right? You only have to pull it out enough to where you can uh, get that wiring harness through. So, let's keep on keeping on. Oh, phooey. That's not going to fit down there. All right guys, so now this piece should just come right out. Oh yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I say you don't have to pull it all the way out, but you kind of need to get, reach that harness somehow. Let's see here, let's go let's see if we can find where that hooks up to. So as you guys can see, we went ahead and we pulled this plug through that hole we drilled after we lifted this, and that's why you have to lift this up real quick. It kind of, it's a little bit of a pain. You gotta take out like, oh, what is it? I, uh, you gotta take out nine bolts, or nine screws. I'm sorry, I, I keep messing that up. You gotta take out nine screws in order to, just to run this through, but, uh, but it is what it is. So next, we're gonna go ahead and push that through there. So, you're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of slack, but that's about right for the most part. All right. So we got everything as far as the as far as the black the center console uh, piece right here. We have everything done we need to, so we can go ahead and secure that back down with the screws that we have. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, so now that's all secured down, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and kind of uh, kind of clean it up the best we can for now. And then uh, all the screws are back in. We have the wiring harness, the plug, all the way through. We're going to go ahead and kind of close this a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in the, connect, the connector from, or for the pad to the harness from Boost Auto Parts. So it should... Look something like this. Boom, clicked right in. No problems whatsoever. All right, so after we have the connector all the way in and good, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm gonna secure this lid piece back down to the actual rest of the console. And then after that, we'll adjust kind of how much, how much uh, wiring, wire we need 
So it's gonna, let's go ahead and run these screws back in their places. Alright guys, so we, go, we, we have this all secured down. The top piece on our center console is all secured. So from here on out, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to move you guys back here. We're going to go ahead and push this all this wiring back into play. And then once we do that, then we will simply, uh, we'll simply tidy things up and hook up the pad. We should be almost done. So uh, let's go ahead and come back here and we'll get this going. All right, everybody, so we are officially almost done. So as you can see, we actually have power to the center charging pad. Um, that's great. So all we have left now, besides vacuuming, is really to go ahead and push this plate, not plate, this little pad, this charging pad, uh, in its perspective place. There's little grooves right here that go, that go right into there. So let's go ahead and push that on there, like so. I want to make sure this is actually pretty crucial that you have all this stuff in the right spot because obviously you'll have some uh, connectivity issues with your charger if the pad's off so you want that to be right on there good to go and that should be it folks um, overall I think that turned out really good so uh, make sure it's in there uh, I'll have to wait till either uh, I'll have to wait till I can get in touch with somebody that has a phone that's capable of this because I currently cannot test it out at all the way that it is now. But it is getting. I know for a fact the red light. You see it. The red light means uh, not charging. Uh, solid blue will mean charging. Blinking blue will mean um, bad connection, like charging but has a bad connection or whatever. But uh, this should be it, guys. Uh, it turned out to be a really simple very clean very oem style looking install i really like it so once i get uh once i get a phone that is capable of this i'll be able to do more of a review on it but i won't really be able to test this out day to day which kind of stinks but it's all right guys it is what it is uh, it looks really good what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna go ahead and uh pull back out we're gonna clean everything up and then we'll round off this video so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the install part and uh let's let's get to the conclusion of this video I know sometimes I let my pride get the best of me Thinking we got telepathy Working on it every day But I don't know what's next for me Wish I could have everything But nothing in this life is free Gotta dig my heels in And think of I was best for me I know you have your doubts And trust me, I got them too I know it's getting hard But babe, I believe in you We're gonna make a fall I promise that's what we'll do I'm getting back on track Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and kind of wrap up this video Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that this kind of persuades you if you have the full console Hope that this video was good enough to persuade you that it's not a bad option. So I really enjoy it and um, I will be able to test out here pretty soon. I'll, get, I'll let you guys know like, check on this Instagram something that probably post a picture some of it and, and just kind of the way it works, but Thank you guys so much for tuning in um, If you guys are good at like if you guys pay attention you guys will probably guess the the which state I moved to pretty easy and so but I'm only going to give away one sticker, guys. So the first person who gets it right gets it. But if you guys are observant, you guys will probably, probably pick it up pretty easy. So um, that's the only hint I'm going to get for that. But thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Our Ever since our absence kind of happened, our subscriber count has still gone up pretty decently. So I want to thank you guys so much for the support on that stuff, even while we were gone from YouTube for like a short amount of time. So thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. We will stay tuned. I don't really know. Next week we'll probably do some some stuff with the uh, 6.5 so kind of want to alternate the content a little bit and keep it lively for both both ends because both trucks are, are still part of the channel so anyways guys i'm not going to leave you guys uh on this video t too much longer so thank you guys so much for tuning in leave a thumbs up on this video hit the subscribe button so we're almost to 100 we're almost there so uh, i appreciate it a lot so you guys have a great week and we'll see you guys next saturday on the deuce 9 music channel peace out guys